Welcome, welcome, welcome to This Week Today. I'm Neil A.M. Thank you so much for joining us. It has been a busy week. Jimmy Carter became the oldest former president at age 100 to vote in a presidential election, beating the previous record he himself set four years ago when he voted at age 96. Carter voted early in Georgia, where his family declared that he voted for Vice President Harris. Latest reports show that Hurricane Helene left 300 deaths, while Hurricane Milton's death toll has reached 24. If only there was an explanation for all these horrific events. Hey, Republican Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell, you've been saying for years that you agree with your party that believes that climate change isn't really real. This isn't climate change, right? Do you believe in climate change? And do you believe that humans are contributing to a warming world? I do. His words, not mine. In some world news, the 2024 Nobel Peace Prize was awarded to a grassroots Japanese organization of atomic bomb survivors for its efforts to achieve a world free of nuclear weapons. Now, this goal might seem unachievable. In U.S. politics, it was reported that the Harris campaign received over a billion dollars in donations during the first three months of the campaign. Good for you! Now, could you please stop asking me for $20? I've already overspent my allowance for the month. With just 17 days until election night, polls show that this is one of the closest elections in U.S. history. Currently, Vice President Harris is leading 48.5% to former President Donald Trump's 46.1%. Reports show that 43 out of the 50 states have already been locked in as either Democratic or Republican. It all comes down to the seven swing states, which still have a chance of going either direction, left or right. Along with Arizona, Georgia, Nevada, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, Michigan is one of the seven swing states this election. So if you're eligible to vote, you really need to vote. Vote for rights, vote for liberty, and if none of that interests you, vote to get one of these stickers. I know, the top left one is simply goaded and should be what everyone in the whole wide world gets. In closing, a tribute to former One Direction member Liam Payne, who died Wednesday at the age of 31. He lived while he was young. He sang the best songs ever. That's just a story of his life. That's our show. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next week. Good day. Today was the Novi Girls Swim and Dive Team Senior Night, where we went against Salem and inevitably won. We got to see seniors like Juliana Hanna walk down the pool deck from their last meet one last time. What's up, Wildcats? Be there tonight at Tom Holzer Field at 7 o'clock to take on your Novi boys varsity football team as they take on our rival Northville. Be there in all green as the theme is green out. Get ready to cheer, and let's bring back the jug. Hey, Wildcats. Spanish Club will be meeting next week on the 22nd, so be there. Hey, Wildcats. On Thursday, October 24th, Culture Club will be having a meeting at 2.50 p.m. in room 182. They will be learning about Italian culture, and tiramisu will be provided. Have a great day, Wildcats. What up, Wildcats? Are you guys interested in playing boys basketball this year? If you are, come to tryouts starting November 11th, running through the 13th. All athletes wanting to try out are going to have to have their final forms completely filled out and have a physical sign. If you have any other questions, make sure to ask Coach Housie at this email right here. Hey, Wildcats! Do you want to just watch a movie and relax with your friends? Then French Club is for you. Here's more information from the French Club president, Magna. Wildcats, French Club is going to be hosting a movie watching party. The movie we are watching is A La Fui Pas de Tu. This is a French psychological thriller that centers around a girl who believes a man will leave his wife for her. It has a crazy twist, so be sure to attend both meetings. The first meeting will be on October 23rd in room 223 straight after school. And be sure to bring a dollar to enjoy some popcorn. We hope to see you there. Hey Wildcats, Book Club will have a meeting on Friday, October 18th at 2.50. They'll be going over a book called Legend Horn by Tracy Dion. Come check it out, that's all. Hey Wildcats, Nova Forensics will be having their first meeting on October 22nd in room 208. Both new and returning members can attend. If you would like more information, contact the people down below. Hey Novi, Novi Music Production Interest Group is an interest group where you can both learn and write music. Everyone is invited to their first meeting, which is taking place October 25th after school from 2.45 to 3.30 p.m. in Mr. Baldwin's room. Make sure to be there because snacks will be provided. What's up, Wildcats? I'm Evan Marshall, and I'll be reporting on your Novi Esports teams. Here's how they did. Varsity Valorant beat Divine Child 2-0. Junior Varsity Valorant lost 0-2 to University High School. Varsity Splatoon lost 2-3 to Bloomfield Hills. Junior Varsity Splatoon beat Northville 3-0. Varsity Mario Kart beat Howell 2-1. Junior Varsity Mario Kart 
lost to Waverly High School, 1-2. Varsity Rocket League lost to Heartland, 0-3. Varsity Overwatch beat the Troglodytes, 3-1. Varsity Smash Bros beat Michigan Connections, 3-0. Junior Varsity Smash Bros beat Atlanta Community Schools, 3-1. And finally, Chess Club beat Catholic Central, 2-0. Hi, I'm here with Mr. Housie. Hi, Mr. Housie. What do you teach here at Nova High School? Uh, I teach English, uh, 10th and 11th grade, and I also the boys' basketball coach. Wow, and uh, what is your unpopular opinion? Mint chocolate chip ice cream is terrible. It tastes like frozen toothpaste. I'm Christian, and I'm here with uh, Mr. Troyer. What do you teach here at Nova, Mr. Troyer? Uh, I teach world history and intro to psychology. And what is your hot take? Uh, my hot take would be that sushi is not good at all very bad. What's up Wildcats? Welcome to Today in History. And today in Today in History, I'll be talking about American territorial expansion, specifically the acquisition of Puerto Rico and Alaska. After the Spanish-American War, which started and ended on 1898, America annexed Puerto Rico, which previously belonged to Spain. On October 18th of the same year, the U.S. military officially assumed the administration of Puerto Rico to the United States, making it informally assigned American land. It became formally assigned American land on December 10th, 1898, with the Treaty of Paris of that year. Prior to that, America had also bought Alaska in 1867 for $7.2 $2 million dollars from the Russian Empire. On October 18th of the same year, the formal flag raising began and Alaska became a U.S. territory. And now we celebrate Alaska Day. And that's all I have for you today and today in history, Wildcats. I'll see you next time in history. Guys, tomorrow is Alaska Day. Who's excited? No one's excited? I'm excited. <laughs> yeah. You're supposed to be a moose, dude. Like, that's your homeland. What's up, Nova? Welcome back to our next NFL Sunday prediction. For our first game is the Lions at the Vikings. This is going to be a very tough game, probably the hardest game that the Lions have all season. But I'm still going to go with the Lions. It's going to be a very close game, though. I don't think the Vikings are that good of a team, even though I praise Sam Darnold. He's a very one-dimensional quarterback, and we've clearly destroyed another one-dimensional quarterback with Dak Prescott. I think the Lions can win this. Uh, obviously, shout out Aiden Hutchinson. Um, praise to you, because that was brutal. Um, I can relate with my knee, so. Uh, but I think the Lions might have the most talented offense in the NFL. They proved it last week against the Cowboys. Give me the Lions in this one. Next game is the Texans at the Packers, and the Packers are rolling right now. Okay, they look really good. Even though they only beat the Cardinals, they looked amazing in that game, to be honest. Um, I'm going to actually go with the Packers here. I think the Texans can win this game. They destroyed the Patriots last week, and I don't think the Packers can keep up with this streak they have, so the Texans. Yeah, I'm going to go with the Texans in this one, too. Uh, another really talented offense. No Nico Collins does hurt. But I'm also mad at the Packers for ruining my upset pick last week. So give me the Texans. Next game is the Chiefs at the 49ers. Obviously the Super Bowl rematch. But the 49ers are not the same team they were last year. Uh, most of their team is hurt. And the Chiefs are unstoppable. I said it before, the refs won't let the Chiefs lose. And the 49ers are still injured. There's no Christian McCaffrey. Brock Purdy is looking a little iffy sometimes. So I'll take the... Chiefs, yeah. I want to go against you guys and pick the 49ers here, but I just don't think I can. I just don't think I can justify it. Uh, Patrick Mahomes is just unstoppable right now, and this offense is just. Andy Reid's a great coach, and the Chiefs are just a complete team. So give me the Chiefs. Next game is the Jets and the Steelers. Obviously, since Robert Sala is gone, the Jets have some things to figure out. But I think that Steelers will win. They've not been horrible. Beating the Raiders was definitely something. I'm gonna go with the Steelers. I think the Jets can win this. The chemistry that Rodgers and Robert Sala had was not that good, and I think with him gone, it will be a much more productive offense. Yeah, I'm going to go with my boys in this one. I'm going to go with the Steelers. Um, Justin Fields looked really good against the Raiders, and they've been, and TJ Watt's the best player in the NFL. I will stand by that. Um, give you the Steelers. All right, next game is the Ravens at the Buccaneers, and the Buccaneers absolutely obliterated the Saints. It was 
so bad. Uh, I think they're going to win the division, but the Ravens beat the Commanders. And I've said this last week, they are a more experienced team and they're just a lot tougher. Definitely going to go with the Ravens here. The Ravens is really struggling with passing quarterbacks like Joe Burrow uh, two weeks ago. And Baker Mayfield's looking really good. So I'm going to take the Tampa Bay Buccaneers this game. Yeah, I think this might be the game of the week on Monday Night Football. I think uh, they're two very good teams, two playoff teams. Uh, but give me the Ravens in this one. I just think Lamar is going to propel the Ravens to a win here. I can just do Jag and Patriots and crap on both of them. Yeah, you want to do that? Yeah. Last up is the Patriots at the Jaguars. And Drake May, obviously, has got a lot to figure out. Uh, that doesn't excuse the Jags, though. They look so bad. Like, last year's fall off was probably the worst fall off of an NFL team I've ever seen in my entire life, and it just spilled over into this year. It is so unbelievably bad. I don't even know who logically to take here. I'm just going to go with the home team. Give me the Jags. I think this is a punishment for anyone that's watching this game. <laughs> Patriots are probably one of the worst teams, and the Jackson Jacksonville is probably worse than them. Um, just take the Jacksonville Jaguars, I don't even know. Uh, yeah, these are two of the worst teams I've ever seen. Um, the Jaguars and Patriots both stink, uh, but Drake May looked okay in his debut. I'll go with the Patriots in this one. Trevor Lawrence's confidence is absolutely shot, and I give Doug Peterson a week and a half before he's fired. So. That concludes this week's NFL Sunday predictions. Stay tuned for next week. What's up, Wildcats? Do you want your story featured on the Cat's Eye News? Email us at nhscatseyenews at gmail.com. Hey, Wildcats. Thanks for watching this episode of Cat's Eye. What are you sorry. doing? Let here? me be in the closer. Let me be in the Cat's Eye News. Please. No, why would you want to be in the closer? Please. Thanks for watching this episode of the Cat's Eye News. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a good weekend.